basically DJ Envy shared that he was profiled and pulled over on Route 80 in Jersey for driving a 2019 Benz while being black. And all he was trying to do was work. He was just trying to make it to his gig at the club last night in New York, or should I say, early this morning, AM. The cops told him that they pulled him over because he supposedly swerved the lane and then told him that the vehicle info did not match the VIN. You know, insinuating that he stole it. Now, it was a loner, and they questioned him about why does he even have a loner, where does he live, basically harassing him. And he is very adamant that it's because of the color of his skin, and petty fans argue that first of all, he's beige, so why didn't the light skin privilege work? And some even said that he looks white to them, so how can this be? Oh, petty. Oh God, but I think that I've said enough, so check it on out for yourselves. So if you see me, I'm on Route 80 right now, I'm trying to get to my job. But these two cops pulled me over because they said I swerved. It wasn't speeding, but I swerved. And now they said the VIN doesn't match the car. It's a fin loner. Why is your car in the shop? Why would else want my car be in the shop? Obviously something's wrong and they gave me a loner. This is the crazy shit, man. These state troopers gotta be some of the dumbest people on the face of this planet the dumbest freaking frack back there I, like I, I really don't know been here about 20 minutes frick and frack stall I'm gonna be a little late he said I wasn't in my lane no speeding but not in my lane and I just told myself I ain't get pulled over in a minute <laughs> still here so what happened is this is a loaner. Shout out to Mercedes. They gave me a loaner with 10 miles on it. So a brand new loaner. And they're trying to figure out why I got a brand new car. They asked me 10 times, where do I live? Where am I going? Now they say the VIN is not matching. Like these are some poop putts. Now the VIN is not matching. And they said, where do you work? I said, I work in the city. I don't have to tell you where I work. I'm really mad because I couldn't curse him out. Because he doodled the license and registration back in the car and I couldn't even ask his name. I couldn't curse him out. I really wish I was driving exotic so I could really shit, but I had to loan him. The guy said, where you work? I said, in the city. He says, we're in the city. I said, I told you in the city. I ain't got to tell you. He says, I was just having a conversation with you. Nigga, I don't want to have a conversation with you. Stop talking to me. I ain't do nothing. I'm having conversation. All right, I had to woosah out. Woosah, woosah. I'm, I'm good now. Uh, I'll be at Starlet's in a second. I'll see you guys in a little bit. But that guy is still a fucking prick, man. He was a prick. Prick, prick, prick. All right. If you're a state trooper and you work around Patterson on Route 80, there's two white pricks that work for you guys. And they're a bunch of assholes. Now, they kept me out there for 30 minutes insinuate my car was stolen and then i guess they google me google my name or figured out the car wasn't for stolen and instead of saying my bad we apologize they damn near throw the license back in and then run back to their car i couldn't get i couldn't get a name i couldn't get a badge number you guys are pricks man you wasted 30 minutes of your time and 30 minutes of my time i know you thought you had when you pulled up to that car and you seen Two niggas with, with hoods on and, and fucking scullies, and you thought you had one, boy. You thought you had a collar. You was like, yes, yes, dear, we coming home with a collar tonight. No, you fuck idiots. All right, Starless, we on the way. <laughs>